Hello and welcome to Business Prime Time. It's been a terrific week for the markets, which seem headed towards the 20,000 mark. Let's straight get into the headlines and tell you what they are at this hour. After less than exciting Q2 numbers, SBI says high interest, high deposit rates are hurting margins. Grass imposed good Q2 numbers. BGP could soon have its own government in Karnataka. JDP, JDS to support and says that to the governor. Stung by Tehelka's expose, activists seek Supreme Court intervention. A Gujarat government lawyer resigns. An RB sensation, Beyonce is all set to have Mumbai curse dancing to her tune. SBI has announced its numbers for the second quarter. Net interest income has seen a marginal decline and also this pressure on the net interest margin, the Q, Q on Q pressure on the margins. Let's talk about the result season. Well, uh, that's uh, what, uh, let's uh, first give you a sense, as I mentioned about SPI. So SPI, as I said, 2.84% is the net interest margin and quarter on quarter that has fallen from over 3%. Let's go across to Ira Dugal, who's in Mumbai to, and who's been listening to the management on what the management has to say. Ira, after quite a while, the NIM for SPI has fallen below the 3% mark. What is causing this pressure? Absolutely, Ash. In fact, that was one of the highlights of uh, this quarter's earnings that came out earlier today. Uh, now, what's happened is that they've seen very strong growth in their deposit base. Deposits have grown more than 26%, uh, but advances growth has not kept pace with that deposit growth. So, advances growth has been in the region of about uh, 20 to 22%, uh, and that has been lower than the deposit growth, which has left SBI with a lot of liquidity uh, with nowhere to put. So, a lot of this liquidity has been deployed in low-yielding places, and hence the net interest margin has come down, like you said, to below. 3% for the first time ever. Uh, now, the positive aspect of that, according to uh, what Mr. O.P. Bhatt said to us, is that uh, they've seen an increase in their market share in the deposit growth. Remember, they aggressively increased deposit rates, term deposit rates, etc., and that helped them garner a lot of deposits. So now that advances growth is picking up, they hope to be able to capitalize on that and push their margins back to the 3% level. Overall, SPI's profit growth has been strong. Fee income growth has also been strong. So overall, a decent set of numbers from SBI, but the lower loan growth that has impacted the entire sector has hurt SBI as well. And uh, what we hear from Mr. O.P. Bhatt is that there's right. some pickup in the retail advances side, and he hopes things will improve next quarter. Yeah, what about the capital raising plans of SBI? Where do they stand right now? Ashu, that continues to be a question we keep asking and we keep getting the same answer from Mr. Bhatt and the answer is that we are waiting for the finance ministry to get back to us in terms of what they want to do. Uh, Mr. Bhatt said that their first preference is still to go to the share markets and raise a follow-on issue but uh, the uh, ministry will take the final call and what we've been hearing from Sapna Das and her sources in the ministry is that a rights issue of some form is perhaps more likely but no final call on it yet. Thank you so much, Ira Dugal there in Mumbai, tracking the, the SBI numbers, India's largest bank. Grasim has also posted strong numbers, well ahead of expectations. The cement business has been showing strong growth, while Sponge Iron and VSF business have also added to the margins. Uh, Grasim Pat stood at about 620 crores, uh, well ahead of 480 crores uh, last year, comparable figure. Q2 revenues at over nearly 4,000 crores against 3,200 crores or so. In the last, in the comparable quarter of last year, cement production is also up nine percent. Let's hear from the management when we caught up with them. We look at VSF and cement business on a very long-term basis. First, let me respond about VSF. The demand is growing. The world demand has grown at a proportion which we did not foresee in the past that it could go at that level. India does not have known own applications of VSF, which we are developing and there could be huge demand for that. Taking that into account, we are putting up large capacities. While there could be pressure on margins, but if you grow the volume the way we are growing, our overall profitability will have uh, that sustainability impact. Similarly, in case of cement, as I mentioned to you, that while uh, the industry, we are growing faster than the industry, our growth uh, plants are 50 percent in next nine months. Uh, then secondly, we are putting a lot of emphasis on cost cut. We really can't control a lot of elements of cost like coal, fuel, they are not under our control. But we certainly can improve our power cost 
we certainly can improve our fuel mix. These new plants which we are putting up will help us to reduce our transportation cost. So I think collectively the measures which you have taken will definitely help us to grow at a reasonable rate in future too.